Hey guys, um, this is going to be my Christmas haul video. I hope you guys had a great holiday season. Um, got to spend lots of time with family and eat good food and unwrap all kinds of gifts and just uh, enjoy the holidays. Um, so I figured I, I had a wonderful Christmas so I, uh, and uh, I wanted to go ahead and get up my Christmas haul video for, for y'all because I've been slacking. I was supposed to have my Black Friday video up before now, but um, yeah, I haven't. I just haven't gotten around to doing that, so that will still that is still to come. But I figured I'd do this first. Um, as you can see here, the reason I'm filming this way, I got a new camera. This was kind of my big gift uh, for this year, so I wanted to try it out. It shoots in full 1080 uh, p HD. Um, it's a 12.5 megapixel camera. Uh, definitely an upgrade from my old one, and I also got a tripod to go with it as well. So I wanted to try filming this way, just because I've finally got a tripod and a really nice camera to use, so I don't have to use my iPod Touch anymore. And um, I look, I'm, I look like a mess right now, so I wasn't gonna go in front of the camera tonight. So um, filming it this way. Uh, so there's uh, the camera. Um, and uh, so then I'm just going to start off with the DVDs and the Blu-rays for those of you that are um, here to see that. Um, and if you want to stick around, I'll be doing the rest of what I got um, after I finish the DVDs and stuff. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. i got to find my little stack here. I've got stuff everywhere. It looks like a disaster zone in here. Um, but first up we have... Uh, Giant, starring Elizabeth Taylor, Rock Hudson, and James Dean. I haven't seen uh, too many classic films. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get uh, get more of these. Uh, so I figured I'd, I've heard good things about this one. I figured I'd start with this one. And I haven't seen too many of Elizabeth Taylor's films either. Her earlier films. So this looked like a good uh, watch. If you've seen it, let me know what you think. But it's two discs. And uh, can't wait to check this one out. Uh, it is fairly long though, so um, hopefully, hopefully though, I'll have time to watch it very soon. Uh, next up, we have the Blu-rays. Um, sorry, I've got like stacks of stuff everywhere. Uh, first one up is Chicago. This is an upgrade Ooh, from a DVD that I already own. I love this movie, so I wanted to have it in my Blu-ray collection. I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to pick a uh, favorite films. Um, that I really want to upgrade and go ahead and do that, but I have no doubt this will look spectacular on Blu-ray. It's very colorful and bright and, um, like I said, one of my favorite films. Uh, so, can't wait to check that out on Blu-ray. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, okay. Next up we have, uh, The Devil Wears Prada. I haven't seen this in a while, uh, but I really wanted to get it for my collection because, um, of course, Meryl Streep uh, is brilliant in this movie, and then I'm a fan of Emily Blunt, so I wanted to have it in my collection for her as well. And then Stanley Tucci and Hathaway, those they're both really great as well. Like I said, spectacular cast in this film. Everybody does such a great job. Um, this is a chick flick to the max, <laughs> so uh, I know most of you guys won't really be interested in it, but it's centered around the fashion world, and Hathaway works for Meryl Streep, who's just the ultimate bitch and just is just so cold and I don't know well not well cold but not the right word she's very rigid and strict and um, has to have things done her way and just Anne Hathaway's like the new intern and she, uh, her and Emily Bond's character are kind of em enemies because she, um, they're kind of battling for the you know, uh, Meryl Streep's favor, and they both want the same position, and then Stanley Tucci's, um, Meryl Streep's character's assistant, and he's just hilarious, so, uh, everybody does a spectacular job in this film, and I, for one, really like it. <laughs> definitely, definitely a chick flick, though. Um, next up, we have another upgrade. It is The Young Victoria, um, uh, another one of Emily Blunt's films. And her and Ralph Fien, I can't pronounce his last name, but they do a wonderful job. They have such great chemistry. 
like I said, this is an upgrade uh, from my DVD. I got the DVD really cheap, and I've gotten my money's worth out of it, definitely. So, But I definitely wanted to have this in my Blu-ray collection. Uh, this is, uh, of course, as the title says, The Young Victoria. It's about uh, Queen Victoria in her younger years, and how her and Prince Albert met, and um, what the uh, early years of their marriage was like. So a really, really good film. I highly recommend it. It is a period piece, I guess you would consider it, but it's not as dry and, you know, boring as some of the ones that I've seen. So very, very good. Highly recommended. Uh, next up, one of my favorite films of the year, or my favorite comedy of the year, Horrible Bosses. Um, uh, this thing just had me laughing the whole way through. I thought this, like I said, by far my favorite comedy of the year. I know most people would, uh, give that honor to Bridesmaids, but I think Bridesmaids was a little bit overrated, um, uh, just because it didn't make me laugh the whole way through. There was a lot of funny parts, don't get me wrong, like any scene Melissa McCarthy was in, or um, there was a couple of scenes that I also found funny, but not. it didn't have me laughing like this one did. Um, just the three bosses are just uh, so awful, and you definitely can see why uh, these three guys here want to kill them. Uh, Jennifer Aniston is definitely one of the standouts. I've never seen her in a role uh, quite like this one, and she does a really good job. She is, <laughs> she's definitely pretty raunchy, but she does a really good job at it. Um, and Charlie Day, he's probably he was probably my favorite. He has so many <laughs> funny parts. Uh, the, eh, I I don't want to spoil the movie too much, but th it's just uh, like even thinking about it, I can't wait to watch it again. Because I've only seen it once, but it was so great. So definitely check this one out when you get the chance. Alright, next up we're going to move on to some TV. First up here I have How I Met Your Mother, uh, season 6. Don't remember too much about this season, I'll have to watch it again. Uh, I do remember, of course, it stars, um, or guest stars, my bad, Jorge Garcia, who is, of course... Uh, Hurley from Lost, and then you've got Katy Perry, um, John Lith Lithgow um, plays Barney's dad in this season, so that was really great. Um, yeah, like I said, I gotta rewatch this, but holy cow, um, this uh, about the seventh season that's airing now, this last episode, their Christmas episode, oh my goodness, I <laughs> wanted to cry when I was watching it. Uh, Kobe, Smo Kobe Smolders deserves, you know, an award for that episode, and it was the Christmas episode to boot, so, um, like I said, How I Met Your Mother is not supposed to make me want to cry, especially the Christmas episodes are <laughs> supposed to be happy, but oh my goodness, wow, I didn't think, like, a show like this would take it, make it that sad, but anyway, um, I'm, that's season seven, I'm talking about, uh, the episode that just aired before they went on break, but... As far as season six goes, I do remember, you know, liking it. It wasn't bad. Um, but I wish they would get around to, you know, revealing the mother already. I mean, really, how many more seasons are they going to keep going? Um, but, like I said, I'm not even really that interested in who she is anymore. I, I could kind of care less. <laughs> but still a great show. I still enjoy it. Next up we have uh, Supernatural season six. I didn't watch any of this on while I was on TV. I don't know. I just it kind of got bumped off my um, to watch list. I guess when it's on air, I figured I just wait get it on DVD because um, I've got way too many shows I'm trying to watch. So some of them had to just go. Um, so I still love the show, but I felt it was getting a little repetitive, and they felt like they were kind of running out of stuff to do. But there was a couple episodes in here. I was reading through the episode guide that I. I can't wait to see what they did. Like they have one where they, they're on the Titanic or something, and then they've got one where they, they're out west, and it just looks like, I don't know. They've gone back, like, cause I know season six and most of season four was all about the apocalypse, and um, they didn't really have too many monster of the week episodes like in the first couple of seasons, which I really loved. Those those were a lot of fun. So and uh, but like I said, all the disc art works the same. Of course, you got. Um, Dean, played by Jensen Ackles, I love, 
Oh, I love Dean. And there you go, you got Sam back there. But I can't wait to watch this season. Um, I was getting a little tired of the Apocalypse storyline. I mean, um, so I hope to see some other new stuff. Um, and I'm very glad that even though they've switched from Digipack digi packs to keep cases that they've kept the outer box the same so they all line up so can't wait to check this season out next up we've got some more tv actually everything left that is uh, tv Ooh. we've got the first season of being human uh, i've had a, some people ask if i watch this yes i do I just have not gotten around to getting it. I'm slowly but surely building up my uh, British TV collection. I love British TV, British humor. So, um, and I've just, they never really go on sale, so I, I don't, I haven't been able to pick some up, but like I said, you know, starting with the Doctor Who sets that I've got, I'm really trying to the build up my uh, British TV collection. But anyway, back to being human here. Uh, really great show. I love George. He's adorable. Um, <laughs> I know, really random, but, uh, oh, hang on, I forgot what I was, oh, oh, um, no, I have not seen the American version. I don't really have an interest in it. I, I like the original material, um, like, especially with TV shows. I hate when they remake stuff. Uh, if it's British, keep it British. If it's American, keep it American. If it's Australian, keep it Australian. Uh, you get the idea. But, uh, I can't wait to watch these again. Um, I think, uh, hang on. Well, I might as well. I got Being Human Season 2 and 3. Um, 3 is the one I haven't seen yet, uh, because I don't have BBC America anymore, which sucks. Um, but... These are short seasons. I think the first one's like six episodes. This one is, I think, eight or so. So, very much uh, looking forward to rewatching this and then catching up on season three. Uh, very, very good. Uh, of course, I guess I should tell you what it's about if you've never heard of it. Um, pretty much the premise is um, a vampire, a werewolf, and a ghost are all living in the same house and they just have to, you know, kind of deal with that and um yeah that's the basic very very basic premise of the show but um highly recommend checking it out especially if you like the supernatural or stuff like that they do a very good job on the effects with the show um the characters are great you, like i said that uh mitchell is the vampire george is the werewolf and annie is the ghost great show very 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 happy to finally have it in my collection and sorry guys, I'm just trying to look around to see where the heck I can put this stuff. Alright, um, here we have probably the one I'm most excited to watch out of all of these because I've heard nothing but spectacularly wonderful things about it. It is The Walking Dead, the complete first season on Blu-ray. Um, I, I haven't watched this yet because I, I'm going to confess that I'm not really into zombies. I'm not into the whole zombie thing. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, I'll watch a zombie flick, no big deal, but I'm not, you know, really into it. Um, but I, I, I don't know why I hadn't, why I didn't know this before, but um, Frank Darabont is, I guess, the producer, creator, um, yeah, of the show. He's, uh, and he, of course, is the director of The Shawshank Redemption, which is one of my all-time favorite films, and uh, it's also got the producer of Terminator and Aliens um, behind it, so I just like, how can this possibly be bad? So, and I've heard nothing but uh, amazing things. People at work talk about it, and I was like, ah, I've got to figure, uh, watch this show. So, I got it. <laughs> and I think, this, yeah, this is like six episodes, so I should be able to go through this quickly, and then, uh, I cause, and then catch up on second season. Here you've got the inside. Oh, and by the way, I think there's two different versions of the first season they released. This is like the second one that they released, like the special edition. It, I think it just comes with more extras. Um, then you've got the cool artwork there, and then you've got the middle, which is the zombie, and then you've got the uh, actual photographs there. And you get lots of extras. This edition, I think, comes with this uh, trading card, so... 
very cool very cool I'm very excited to watch this as well I've got so much stuff to watch um, but I'm not complaining looking forward to it and then kind of the big kahuna of the DVD update uh, is Scrubs the complete series look at that and then take your like, cover there I love the design of this it looks very cool it's you know like a medical clipboard um, I haven't even opened it up yet I will probably do a video showing you what's all inside, what's it look like, and all that. But I think the packaging is really cool. Uh, so I've been wanting to get this uh, series for a while because um, I watch it all the time when it's on Comedy Central now, and it just makes me laugh so much. Especially you know Dr. Cox and Kelso and the janitor um, and the whole cast. They're just hilarious, and this is definitely. Um, I don't know, I think it's one. It's kind of an underrated show in my opinion. I don't hear too many people talking about it anymore, but it is friggin' hilarious. I love it so much. And um, this will definitely, uh, I'm definitely very glad to add this to my collection. Like I said, I'll do a video opening it up and everything. It's still in the plastic. I just haven't had time. Alright, that's it for the DVDs. Um, so if, if that's all you wanted to see, thank you for watching, and I will see you with my next video. But if you want to stick around, I've got some more stuff to show, so we should just get started. Uh, first up here um, is, I'm going to go through these quick, so um, my Fight Club t-shirt. Very cool. Um, I got this sweater. It's very purple. Uh, let's see. I got this hoodie pullover thing. I know it's kind of hard to get in the frame. Yeah, you can't even see that. But it's like a... Oh, I guess you can see it over there now. <laughs> um, sorry, guys. I'm just... I got stuff everywhere. Um, I got the an 8 gig memory card to go uh, in the camera. Of course, I'm using it right now. A uh, case for the camera. Um, I got these earrings, which are, I love them. How adorable are those? I love any, I love owl jewelry. Um, I guess, uh, well mainly because I, I, my name, Shannon, means Little Wise Owl. So I've kind of started collecting all kinds of owl jewelry. I don't know, I just think it's adorable. And we've got, uh, another pair of earrings there. Um, and I think, oh, and down here, you probably won't be able, to be able to see it under my desk, uh, right there is some floor mats for my new car, uh, then of course, uh, the cash, everybody loves cash, then we've got some gift cards here that will probably be spent tomorrow, uh, yeah, other than that, just... Uh, the stocking stuff, which, again, not very interesting. Uh, you got your shave gel. Uh, your shampoo. <laughs> Pack of gum. Hershey's Kisses, which I love. Uh, you got razor. Just your everyday stocking stuff. Another thing of Hershey's Kisses. Uh, some lip gloss. And, uh, hang on guys, they're at the bottom here, if I don't knock over the tripod first. Uh, some blush, some leave-in conditioner, and some mascara. So, that is my Christmas haul for 2011. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys had a great Christmas as well. Um, I love seeing what people got for Christmas, so if you want to, feel free to leave a video response. Uh, to this one or comment or something uh, it just uh, it makes me happy to see see whatever the other people got I don't know why but it does so thanks again guys you all rock and you're awesome and I will see you soon with my Black Friday video um, so happy holidays and uh, hope everyone has a safe new year